Hi everybody, uh, this is Dan. I'd like to take uh, just a few minutes to show you how I use Screencast-O-Matic to record uh, PowerPoint videos uh, for a class. It's a very simple software to use and I'm going to do a recording of how I do this. First thing you want to know is, first thing you want to do is you make sure you have some your PowerPoint slides and if you look at my slides what I've done is I've reserved a spot uh, on the slides uh, in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, I've never put images in the bottom right hand corner or text in the bottom right hand corner. This is where I'm going to put um, the video of uh, myself walking through the slides. Okay, so the first thing is you want, you want to make sure you've set up your slides. Now the slides can be in 4.3 format or 16.9, it really doesn't matter. Because um, we can we can grab the video on either side. 16.9 is nice format, a widescreen format, but in this case they're, they're 4.3 format or standard screen size. The second thing we're going to do is up in the uh, slideshow window, Diaparama, we have a configure uh, button up here and we're going to make sure that this is set not to be presented on a, on a projector for example but to be watched by a single person so here we have visionate by une personne this is a very important option we're going to select this uh, and we're going to we're going to use this and I'll show you what it does when I go to my present mode you can see right away that if I go up I can minimize my screen I've got a screen that uh, allows me to see my projection as I do other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to going to make this like that. <coughs> so we we have our projection what we want to record in a separate way. I can I can make this as big as I want, but I don't want it too big because we're gonna we're gonna watch the video ourselves, the video of the of the camera at the same time. And this allows me to see that uh, as I record the the screen. Okay, so my video, uh, my, my PowerPoint is set up, ready to go. Uh, now I'm going to start Screencast-O-Matic, which is down here. You can start that software. Uh, now you can re you can get the free software uh, and record 15-minute videos, or you can have uh, 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 you can have uh, the professional version, which is uh, allows you to do unlimited uh, recording and a few other options. So I'm going to hit the record button now. What you see is you see me, um, and you also see the the dotted line area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my video out of the zone that we're going to record. It allows me to keep it active. We're then going to uh, move the uh, the area that I want to record. I'm going to find it just exactly around those slides. So I've got my slides marked off. There we go. So I can see the video over here on the left side. I can see the zone I'm going to record, and I know I'm going to put my video somewhere else. And you'll see that in a minute. Down the bottom, I've got some options. I've got my record button. I've got my audio volume, which is down here. Um, I can check the microphone volume if I want. I can set it to be automatic. Um, I can capture the audio from the computer. If I'm showing a video, for example, that has audio in it here, I don't have any audio already in my slides, so I'll turn that off. Here, I've selected the webcam. If I don't want the webcam, I just turn it off, and I won't record uh, the video. I'll just have the audio and the, uh, and the slides. But here, I, I'm going to insert my video, so you can see that. Um, here I have some other settings that I can play with. We're not going to deal with that. So I'm, I'm basically ready to go. I've set up my video so I'm at uh, eye level with the camera. Uh, so I'm not talking down to the camera. Uh, I've cleaned up the space behind me so it's not messy. In this case, that's not the case. Uh, but usually you have a nice clean office uh, to work from. Uh, I've got my slides in front of me. Sometimes you may want to back up, and, and in that case, you can you can use a, a pointer device uh, if you want to back up when you present your slides, so people see a little bit more than just a headshot. Um, and you don't have to always be walking in front of the camera. So here we go. I'm going to uh, click the red button, and this is going to start the recording process. It's going to give me a little countdown. Here we go, and we're off. Now, as I'm speaking now, I'm I'm recording. Uh, the video of uh, the slides. I'm also recording myself and my audio. So I can click through uh, my slides just as if I was in class. 
Uh, I can talk about my slides. I can make m mentions of them if I want. I can I can draw a, a line here. I've got a in the pro option. I've got a a draw button. I can I can come in here and, for example, mm -hmm. select a uh, a tool. Uh, I can make a red line in this. You'd want to do maybe in advance. Have it all set up. Uh, so I want the arrow, and I want to be able to just point maybe some things out as we're as we're going through the the video. I can clean all of my marks up by the erase button. Continue on with my slides as I want. And when I'm done uh, uh, commenting and narrating my slides, I basically just click the done button. So we're done. Uh, now what you see on the screen is um, the slides uh, and where we started to record and, and this box right here, which is the, the video box. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to size that box. We're going to decide where it's going to go when we record. And remember, I told you I was going to put it in the bottom right hand corner, and that's exactly where I'm going to put it. And it's I basically defined now the space for that, um, for that video box. <coughs> so everything seems to be ready. I've got my video box in place. I've got the recording of the slides. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically save it. I'm going to select a video file. I have other options, obviously, but we're just going to going to put it in the video file. Now, what's also nice here is I have some options. I can record to an MP4, which is good for, for online. I'm going to record the full size of what I did. Um, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't have any notes for my slides, and I don't want them to see them if there are. I could show the mouse cursor if I was doing a demo of a software or something like that. Um, but everything looks good. So here I'm going to save the video. I'm going to choose a destination for the video. I'll put it on my desktop. Test. Yeah, we'll overwrite it. And we can see the progression up here. It's, it's whipping through the, the video. So my, my video is done. If I want, I can go look at my video. So let's see what it does. There's my video here. This is what I upload uh, to YouTube or, or something like that. Basically, we've gone through the software. We create our video. Or everything's done. Um, we're going to see if we can watch the video. I don't know if that will work or not. Um, so we'll just stop here. Uh, if you have any questions, just give me a call. So let's see if the video works. Look, you can see it. And we're off. Now, and here you can see the, now, I'm the video box we created. Uh, this is the video of the size the slides. And I'm also video myself the slides. So I can click through exactly what we wanted. That's it.